Alright guys, here we are for another trailer review. Today we're reviewing the trailer for the movie Agenda Payback. I would have loved it if you said Agenda colon Payback. <laughs> So Eric Balfour, I like him. Uh, Sean Patrick Flannery, of course. He's, you Where, know, what is Eric, he's epic. Eric, what is Eric Balfour from? Oh, he what was in uh, Secondhand Lions. He's in an episode of uh, Freaky Links. He was in the beginning of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. He's, uh, he's in Texas Chainsaw Massacre. He has just like a great Ooh. vibe. He plays like... The new Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Not the newest one, like the second or third the, newest one. The, the, the newest the, one to you, probably. The new one to me as an old man. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, because he looks like the poor man Skeet Ulrich from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Kind of. All right. Uh, but yeah, he's, he's like a great character. Right. He has a like good delivery. He's in a show on Sci-Fi Channel called Haven. Uh, I, I just, in general, cool. have, have liked yeah. him since uh, <clears throat> like the late 90s. I like that there's a uh, bright spot in this because there's nothing else here for me to go off of. Or who's no, then Sean it. Patrick Flannery, of course, I've liked him forever, too, since, like, yeah. Young Indiana Jones, The oh. Boondock Saints, uh, you know, Caw, <laughs> the horrible horror movie with crows. <laughs> I know him only as the, uh, like, my least favorite Boondock Saint. <laughs> That's all I know him as. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, all Young right. Indiana Jones, he will forever have a place in my heart. Excellent. Uh, you know, right. He was in Dexter the later season. At what? That's who? He was the, the cop that ran that thing that the sister went to work for. I don't think he was actually a cop. He was like a private investigator. What, what the hell the sister was working for? It's not important. Uh, let's just check this out because we don't know what the fuck this is. I hope uh, we find out what the agenda is all about. Curious. I wonder if Agenda Payback is these people who are 95% of the trailer getting revenge on him or if it's going to be just, the other uh, half where it's him getting revenge on them for trying to kill him. I was just going to say, when the Paybacker becomes the payback -y! Um, Because there's a whole, like, when the hunter becomes the hunted, like, yeah. big in movies. Now, Interested. That, that would be awesome. Um, this seems fine. It seems like, like <laughs> it's low budget, of course, Yeah. Uh, but I want to know what that twist is. So I have to say that uh, had you checked out at like 99% on this trailer, yep. I would be like, eh. Yeah, But agreed. that totally last agreed. bit that turn. really really hooked me in where I'm like, all right, I want to know what it is. Um, but also, it didn't seem like they had the budget to actually do any of the torture they wanted to do. Like, they didn't cut his finger off. They okay, didn't see good. him. They didn't do that. Well, so I'm wondering exactly what's happening so here. They show some stuff like they're going to cut the finger off. And then they show some stuff where I guess it's not off, but I don't know if you see all his fingers ever or how it works or whatever the fuck. But the point is, I'm I'm always very leery when a movie says we have to cut us, you know, someone's finger off when they don't have the budget to do that. Yeah, then it ends up being really weird and dumb, and I wish they would stop. Well, doing my my like least that. favorite part of uh, Reservoir Dogs is the ear part. I hate that. I know it's so much. Um, but this, they might have skirted it. It might not actually end up happening. But And a finger is a lot easier because you just wrap your hand in a red rag yeah. and your finger has gone. Exactly. Uh, but when you cut someone's ear off, <laughs> you better not fucking show that angle, you dumb bastard. Uh, this, this looks interesting. Uh, again, that, that last twist is the only part I'm remotely interested in. Uh, you see a girl walk down the stairs. You think that's the girl he said, you're very pretty in the hallway. Do you think that's that same girl? That would she be, smiled uh, and hung on her for a little bit too long. That would be a suitable uh, movie-ish thing to do. Um, no, like, uh, I like, so if you were like, hey, we're going to make this indie movie with some people that you have heard of, uh, like someone you've heard of in this main role of like a sleazeball wheeler dealer guy, uh -huh. um, who gets, um, kidnapped by someone that he wronged in the past and then he's going to be locked in the basement for a lot of the movie. It's low budget. People are going to come in one after the other that he's like fucked, you know, fucked with before. Right. And the story is going to be like a thrillery thing of intrigue as we, as the audience figure out what he's hiding and what, you know, like what's real and like what's not. Cause he's going to be like, I'm sorry. I don't know. I, I didn't know or whatever. It's going to be a solid yeah. thing. And then at the end, you're going to be like, oh, shit, he's he's like a badass. He's like, fuck you. And like gets him back or whatever. I'd be like, that's awesome. But having seen this trailer, I'm not sure if I feel that way. <laughs> like generically, I say yes. And I think I will thumbs this up at the end of the day. But uh, parts of it felt too not good that I'm like, I, I really know. loved that that dropping of like the tile and it like totally covering that yeah. floor piece. I think that's cool. Little things. I'm like, Oh, that's dope. How do you yeah. lift that up? If it's seamless, I don't know. Magnets, magnets. Oh, I love magnets. How do they, How do work, they work though? <laughs> <laughs> I, no. I'm going to have to thumbs it up. Uh, well, a reluctant apprehensive. God, yeah. Thumbs up, but it's getting a thumbs up. 
The last second saves it. I totally it, it, uh, agree with you. It's that moment that made this a, uh, yeah, I want to see this. Uh, also, what is the point of having a hidden basement if it has a window? <laughs> <laughs> hidden uh, basement, obvious window. Yeah. All right. Uh, that's our thoughts on this, guys. Let us know in the comments below what you think about it. Don't die in a fire, and we'll see you next time. Hello, Internet. I just love watching Just Taggers. If you've enjoyed this video as much as I have, click that subscribe button. Ah. Uh, peace out, homies.